Tina. And I'm Ross. And today we have a video brought to you by our kind viewer Richard RTHOC71 on YouTube. This is part of one of the boxes that he sent us, some of the delicious treats that he sent. So we're going to be trying two loaf cakes that he sent. One of them is Parkin. And this is something that I had mentioned on our community page that I wanted to make for Guy Fox night or bonfire night. I saw some recipes online. I was going to try to make it. Didn't get around to it after I saw that you had to let it sit for several days. So he kindly bought us one from Yorkshire Baking Company. And then Ross is holding. Sticky ginger. Sticky ginger loaf cake. It looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. And it's also from Yorkshire Baking Company. And yes. both of these feature ginger, so I'm wondering... It looks like this one had more ginger in it. This had some more spices in it. And I also heard that there are a few different varieties of Parkin. So this is the one from Yorkshire. There's also one from Lancashire, which uses golden syrup, whereas this uses black treacle. Yes. I, I know one of our viewers mentioned that in some comments, and I also noticed that as I was doing research on recipes, because I was looking at one that had golden syrup just because I knew I could get that at Cost Plus World Market, although I think they have black treacle too. So that was kind of the route I was going to go, but so nice that we have one from Yorkshire Baking Company. And he also sent us this package of Yorkshire tea for hard water. He did some research and found out that we have hard water here and we do know that we do based on some of the residue we see around our faucets. Yeah. So I, I don't know, hopefully we'll be able to tell the difference. I understand it's a blend that's supposed to taste better in hard water. I'm just afraid we've grown up with this and gotten so used to it that we may not know the difference, but. We'll find out. Yeah, so we look forward to trying this. We're gonna brew up some tea and slice off some of this loaf cake and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. We brewed our tea and we cut our parkin and sticky ginger cake. And you can see they look very, very similar. I think the only way we can tell them apart, I had forgotten to mention, the parkin does have oatmeal in it and I see little pieces of oatmeal. So that's gonna help us know which one is which. Yes. And so here is my tea. And I'm not a big tea connoisseur expert, but this looks a little bit lighter than I think other teas. It did mention it's a little bit different blend that's supposed to taste better in hard water. So, hmm. I'll give it a try. Sure. It's not too hot. <laughs> that's too hot. What do you think? It tastes nice. Yeah. How would you compare it to the previous teas? Like I said, I'm not enough of a tea connoisseur <laughs> to know. It's like you, you drink tea more than than I do. And yeah, but I drink coffee every day. I drink tea once in a while. I think maybe it's not as strong as some I've had. I don't know. I, I wish I still had a bag of the regular. Well, usually I've been drinking Yorkshire Gold, and I don't remember. Is the Yorkshire Gold a little bit stronger blend? That I can't remember. Oh. Because if that's the case, that that may explain why it seems it's a little bit lighter than, than what I have been drinking before. I, I would agree. And I... I believe you drink more tea than I do, and I, I like tea. I, I think from the other examples we got, I, I think this might be a little on the lighter side, but I, I like it. Mm -hmm. A bit more delicate, I think. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's just good. used to tasting all that hard water. <laughs> that could be too. But Richard, thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Richard. Okay. Can't wait to test these out. So which one are we starting first? Um. I guess I'm just going to start with the ginger, sticky ginger. Okay. And as Tina said, they do look very similar. They do. Can you tell yours apart? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to tell. I had them in alphabetical order. Yeah, you got them out of alphabetical order. But I can still see the flakes. <laughs> the oat flakes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, that smells. Yeah, you can really smell the mm -hmm. ginger. Mmm. That's nice. We both like ginger flavoring, so. Yes. Love gingerbread cookies. Mm. Mm hmm Yeah, definitely. You can taste the uh, treacle. You can taste the ginger. Mm-hmm. Are you going in for another piece of that one? Yes, I am. Okay. I won't eat the... I won't eat the parkin yet, then.
Okay, so are you ready to try the parking? Yes. Okay. Maybe, in fact, I think I get a little swig of tea first. <laughs> Cleanse the palate, right? Just. Mm. Yeah, do like that tea. Yeah, the ginger, it was it was gingery, but not like really gingery. Yeah, I mean, we've tried the, the ginger nut fiery ones, which would go very well dunking with. Yes, we yes. Now. Those were good. All so, right. Parkin. Mm. Immediately can tell the difference. Texture-wise, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely different texture. And as we saw in the ingredients, it does seem like there are more spices going on in there. Yeah, <clears throat> I like that. Well, me too. Yes, yeah, so I think this is the first time I've ever had tried a cake loaf that had oats in it. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine, oh, it'd be like super dry, where this isn't. And I don't know that they always come like this as a loaf cake. The ones I saw look like they were cutting. Just like a it, squares. I don't know if that's typical or not, but Okay, so you know you know what my next question is gonna be. Which do you prefer? Which do I prefer? Yes. Let me take another taste of the sticky ginger. Okay. That is good. Mm -hmm. I think I might prefer the parkin a little more. I like the extra spices hmm. it has going on in there, I think. And I believe it was all oh, that they had in here. Besides the ginger, they both obviously have ginger. This also has coriander, cassia, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, fennel, and nutmeg. I think this one just had primarily ginger. If I'm not mistaken, ground ginger. Yeah, it seems to be the main main spice for the sticky ginger loaf cake. Okay. Both are good. It is a little stickier. It seems like the park is a little bit more crumbly. How about you? Do you have a preference? I like the taste of both. I think I like the texture of the sticky ginger, and I, I think I like the texture of the sticky ginger better. I really like the flavor of the um, parkin, with the different spices. Mm -hmm. That's what I really enjoyed about it too. Do you not care as much for the pieces of oatmeal, or or just like that this one, maybe seems a little bit more moist, the sticky ginger? Well, that's that's kind of what I meant. I I like the sticky ginger loaf texture as. Maybe it's just me. I thought maybe it's a little bit more moist. Yeah. And and sticky. <laughs> and sticky. And and growing up, when when you have your choice of say biscuits, and you can have any kind of biscuit on a plate, we had a variety in front of you. Do you automatically go to the oatmeal? No. <laughs> uh, oatmeal is not my first pick, but I like oatmeal cookies, and I never really thought I would have oats in a cake or a loaf ever. It was so nice to try that. And, oh, this is really good. The different flavors, and then it has oats in it. Yeah, I, I really like that par that parkin cake. Yeah. Loaf, loaf cake. <laughs> I could say depends on my mood. Depends on your mood. Yeah. On your mood. You wouldn't turn down either one. I would not turn down. <laughs> I, I like them both. Yeah. Yeah. And they go nice with tea. I'm sure they go nice with coffee. Yeah. In fact, I think it even says on the bottom here. Tea time favorite. It actually says that on the bottom. So there you go. Nice. Perfect for tea. Yeah, so we're really happy to have the opportunity to try these two cakes. Thank you so much, Richard. And let us know down in the comments, do you have a preference between sticky ginger and parkin? If you make it from scratch, do you, do you put anything on top? Do you put any kind of icing, any kind of sauce on top? I'm just kind of curious what your preference is. Yeah, because they seem a little bit plain, but then again, think of our banana bread. Usually mm. just have that pretty plain, don't we? There's no, no icing on top. No, I, I typically wouldn't touch banana bread. <laughs> I wouldn't touch banana bread. 
Because that's kind of like a loaf cake. I mean, they call it bread, but it's it's on the sweet side. It's like sadness, sadness bread. <laughs> uh, it's, I, yeah, I, I never cared for banana bread. It's one of those things where coworkers bring, hey, I just brought in a loaf of banana bread. And, and like, they're very proud, too. And they're very, sure they're creation. Yeah, and I, I, I tried. I was like, thank, thank, thank you for sharing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's like zucchini bread. It's like I, I'm sorry, sadness bread. It, it's just, it's just a loaf of sadness. But I digress. I was just curious if, uh, say, if you were to buy these, if you were to uh, prepare them yourself, would you put something on top, an icing? Would you put it like a sauce on top? And if so, can you let us know. Or like I think I saw in a few pictures, it looked like maybe it had powdered sugar on top of it, Ooh. something like that. Um, just a little light dusting of sugar. I would yeah. Eat, yeah. I would eat banana bread if it had powdered <laughs> sugar on top. So I'm going to make it a little better. Okay. All right. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.